Um, thank you so much for having me. I hope you will let me come back again because actually I like it here very much. <laughs> Not quite as much as the last, so you need about three more months of winter, I think, and then I'll be interested <laughs> in something serious. But until then, Massachusetts, I will definitely be back. Um, I, I'm playing to my free show, All Ages, which I like to do. I prefer them to be free in All Ages when I can. Um, so uh, hop on in, or actually text or Twitter someone right now and make them be there. You have that power. I can always tell my people when I go to a venue by the ones that are hunched over their smartphones, waiting to know that I've arrived. They're looking at the phone, not at the door. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, and uh, if you are enjoying the music, please do uh, you know download something or share something or tell somebody because with no agent or manager, agent or manager. Um, uh, it's it's all been through the goodwill of some awesome people on Facebook and Twitter. This this tour actually, which is almost over, has been a massive Twitter and Facebook experiment with a very very small group of people. And I will say that those people are incredibly mighty because they have made it happen. And I think this is a good sign for the future of entertainment. So um, I wrote this song. It's called the Nerd Anthem, and we need some help. So I need uh, Paul and Storm to come out here, please. <laughs> 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 Either you left a triple on the ground or Chewbacca pooped when he ran by. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chewbacca poop joke. Yes. I wrote this song because um, when I was younger, I wanted to be one of the cool kids and not a nerd. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know there were other nerds because they were all boys. Um, and boys have cooties. So. so I spent my recesses in the library typing up library cards for the librarian, and that's where I found my piece, which is probably why in some psychotic way I'm, I'm fixed on the typewriter. But, um, but when I got older, I realized there was no chance of being one of the cool kids, both because I was a choir geek and because I had a pretty comprehensive knowledge of Star Trek The Next Generation, and that kind of screws you up. So, when we get these your first crush, there's no way in hell that you're ever going to be one of the normal kids. So. Um, <laughs> This song is about the process of accepting that, being proud of it, being proud of who you are. It's about passion. And it's called the Nerd Anthem. Here we go. One, two, three. All the cool kids keep enthusiasm rationed. Right down to the last explosive dance. But I'd rather indulge my many passions. Even if my square attitude is good. Perhaps I cannot strike you as a joke Without the horn-rimmed glasses and the high argyle sex But nerdery is more than wardrobe deep And I'm an egg in my heart and mess for no for rocks 